Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today, we're discussing an important and often misunderstood topic, brain aneurysms. A brain aneurysm, also known as a cerebral aneurysm, is a bulge or ballooning in a blood vessel in the brain. These bulges can occur when the blood vessel wall is weakened, usually at a branching point. About 1 in 50 people will develop a brain aneurysm at some point in their lives, and while many may never experience symptoms, some can lead to serious health issues. Brain aneurysms can vary in size, shape, and location. Some may be as small as a pea, while others can reach the size of a grape or larger. In many cases, these aneurysms remain asymptomatic, meaning there are no noticeable symptoms, and they could go undetected for years. However, if an aneurysm ruptures, it can cause severe complications, including a subarachnoid hemorrhage, which is bleeding in the space surrounding the brain. This condition can lead to sudden, severe headaches, nausea, vomiting, sensitivity to light, and even loss of consciousness. If you or someone you know experiences a sudden, explosive headache, it is crucial to seek medical attention immediately. Risk factors for developing a brain aneurysm include genetic predisposition, high blood pressure, smoking, and certain medical conditions such as connective tissue disorders. Women are more likely than men to develop brain aneurysms, particularly before the age of 50. Family history is also a significant factor. If a close family member has had a brain aneurysm, your risk may be elevated. Diagnosis often begins with a neurological examination, and if an aneurysm is suspected, imaging techniques are used. Common methods include a CT scan, MRI, or angiography, which provides detailed images of the blood vessels in the brain. If a brain aneurysm is detected, your medical team will discuss treatment options tailored to your specific situation. Not all aneurysms require immediate intervention, smaller, unruptured aneurysms may simply be monitored over time. However, if an aneurysm is large or has a high risk of rupture, two primary treatment options are available surgical clipping and endovascular coiling. Surgical clipping involves making an incision in the skull to directly access the aneurysm and place a clip across its base, preventing blood flow into the aneurysm and therefore reducing the risk of rupture. Endovascular coiling, on the other hand, is a minimally invasive procedure where a catheter is inserted through the groin and guided to the aneurysm. Tiny coils are then placed inside the aneurysm, promoting clot formation and sealing it off from the rest of the blood flow. Recovery from these procedures varies. While some patients may return to normal activities within a few weeks, others may require extensive rehabilitation, especially if they experienced complications from the aneurysm itself. It's important to follow up with your healthcare provider regularly and maintain a healthy lifestyle to reduce the risk of further complications. Understanding the signs and symptoms associated with a potential aneurysm rupture is crucial. Many people might not recognize the symptoms, so awareness is key. Remember, elements such as a sudden, intense headache, sudden vision changes, or difficulty walking could all be warning signs of a serious condition. Never hesitate to reach out for medical help if something feels off. In conclusion, brain aneurysms are potentially life-threatening but often go unnoticed until they cause an issue. By understanding what they are, how to recognize symptoms, and learning about risk factors, we can take proactive steps to manage our health. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more medical education content. Stay informed, stay healthy, and thank you for watching.